two-stroke outboard engines. Are their days numbered? Is this the end of an era? In some areas, I understand that yes, it has gotten to be an issue where you can't operate and use two strokes. But for those of us who still can, are two-stroke outboard engines days numbered? Are we gonna have to give up our two-stroke outboard motors? Well, there's a few interesting things that I found as I was researching this video, and please be sure to watch all the way to the end because there's some things coming and here right now that kind of lead me to believe that we might not be at our last days for our two-stroke outboard engines. I know some of you will rejoice over that. First, let me talk a little bit about the background here. Two-stroke outboard engines, they've been around since the earliest days of motorized boating. Many of us grew up with two-stroke outboard motors. Many of the major manufacturers, though, have stopped making two-stroke outboards. If they do still make two-stroke outboard motors and they sell them where you live, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I wasn't able to find anything about any of those manufacturers making two-stroke outboards anymore. But there are some brands that still do, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. If you do know of other brands who are making two-stroke outboard motors, please be sure to put that in the comments. And in recent years, the technology has improved. Manufacturing four-stroke outboard engines has become more economical, and there's been more reasons for the manufacturers to do so. And so many of them are offering reliable, decent four-stroke outboard motors now where they used to only be able to have two-stroke versions of those size engines. One of the reasons they don't make two-stroke outboards anymore is environmental regulations. And that's not just here in the US, that's over the whole world. And those environmental regulations are in place because two-stroke outboard engines definitely are smoky and they can release unburnt fuel through the combustion chamber and out the exhaust. And we all know that. That's part of why a lot of people even like two-stroke outboard motors because of the smell and the smoke. A lot of people have sort of a nostalgic, romantic, fond memories of boating with an older relative with an old two-stroke outboard. When they see footage of a smoky old two-stroke outboard starting, they can smell. The smell memory comes back and they remember what it smells like. And they think about the sound and that's something that they cherish and they hold on to. And frankly, that's one of the things that keeps a lot of people liking and wanting two-strokes is that nostalgia. But just because we have fond memories of something like that doesn't mean that it's something that we're going to always get to do. Many bodies of water have restricted the use of two-stroke outboard engines. There are lakes and reservoirs that have completely banned two-stroke outboard engines. Matter of fact, some bodies of water have even gone as far as being all electric now. Uh, there are many fishing tournaments in states like Georgia where the lakes do not allow any type of propulsion that is a gasoline engine. If many major manufacturers are not making two-stroke outboards anymore, and in a lot of places you're not allowed to buy new ones, 20 years from now, there's going to be very few of them still running and still around. And I think that's the way a lot of it is going throughout the world. Because over time, these old Evan Roods and Johnsons, they're going to start to fail. And many of them are going to get hung on the wall as a piece of art instead of actually restored or repaired because it becomes less cost effective to do so. I recently went through a little bit of that myself. So how do we feel about this? About a month ago on my channel, I actually conducted a poll and I asked, what's your opinion on two-stroke outboard engines? And thank you so much for those of you who take part in these polls on my channel. I really do appreciate it. I had over 1,200 votes on this particular poll and 47% of the people polled said that they love two-stroke outboard engines and will use them as long as you can. At the moment, I think I only have one two-stroke outboard engine, and that's my Mercury 2.5, which I use quite regularly. And I would like to be able to have the option to use that for many more years to come. I may not use it very much, but it would be nice to have that option. And when it comes to change, I often think about how we react to change. And many of us are resistant to change. It really is an older technology. And if you think about it in terms of 
other things. At one time, people heated their homes with coal. And so people had to shovel coal into the coal furnace that was down in their cellar to be able to heat their house and a coal delivery would come. There's not a lot of people nowadays who have those kinds of memories and hold on to that or have a nostalgic feeling about heating a house with coal. For those of you who are also older like me, you might remember whenever cell phones first came out and then flip phones and smartphones. And many people were resistant to that change along the way. And now we all pretty much have smartphones. Even if we're resistant to change, things change, times change. But does that mean this is the end of the line for two-stroke outboards and two-stroke engines? Well, I don't think so. Because there's some really interesting things as I started digging into this. I mentioned that the four major manufacturers of outboards are not offering two-stroke engines, at least that I could find online. But Hankai is still offering two-stroke outboards on Amazon.com. As a matter of fact, you can see there's multiple different versions of the Hankai two-stroke outboard that you can buy on Amazon.com. So while the four major manufacturers are not offering them, Hankai, who probably sells a lot of outboard motors worldwide, they are still making them for now. But here's the most interesting news of all. In 2023, BRP is going to be selling two-stroke engines in the U.S. BRP stands for Bombardier Recreational Products. Bombardier is a company that you may have heard of because over the years, they have acquired a lot of other brands. Bombardier have been around for a long time. They made a lot of snowmobiles and those types of things. In 2023, BRP is actually coming out with new lines of boats for Lumacraft and Manitou that'll feature Rotax engines. The Rotax engine is an outboard that sort of sits in the water down below the rear of the boat. The idea of these is I guess it basically gives you the look of an inboard outboard, but it's still an outboard engine. But here's the real kicker. These particular Rotax engines that they're gonna put on these boats are two-stroke engines. So in 2023, a major North American manufacturer is going to be offering brand new boats with brand new engines that are two-stroke. Whether or not these are any good, or they sell well, or they're you know reliable or popular, remains to be seen. Just the fact that they're able to manufacture a two-stroke, wanting to do so, and bringing it to market in 2023, I think is very interesting. Now with engines like this old Mercury two-stroke here, this is actually from 2004. So this is near the end of when they were offering some of these small two-strokes. I'd like to be able to have the option to operate this engine for many years. We may, as individuals, want to be thinking about whether or not we want to invest more money and time in maintaining and repairing some of these older two-strokes because perhaps they might not be a very usable engine where you're boating in the future. Let me know what you think about your two-stroke engine and whether or not you think we're going to be able to still use them in 10 years. And here's another video you might want to watch after this one. I think it's a good one.